Welcome to the game store. How can I help you today? Yes, we do offer cleaning services. What were you looking to get cleaned today? So some consoles and some games need to be cleaned. Okay, so let me just look here. Yeah, so currently charging a dollar for any games and then three dollars for any consoles, which is a pretty good deal. And is anything not working? Okay, because we do have repair services as well. Okay, everything's good. Perfect. So then you can just set everything right over here. And then I can start going through everything. And just so you know, we do have a sale going on right now. All of our Switch games are buy one get one 50% off. So I wanted to tell you that. And then you can either stay here while I clean everything or you can browse. It's up to you. But it shouldn't be more than about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how dirty your items are. And if you choose to stay, I'm happy to tell you how I'm cleaning them and give you some tips. So the first item I have is just some con swaps. I have a lot here, just because you never know how many you'll need. I cleaned a Game Boy earlier today, and needed five or six of them, so you never know. Then I have some rubbing alcohol. So you want to get as close to 100% rubbing alcohol as you can. It will just be the safest option. So I'll set that here. And basically, it just cleans the inside of games and also helps remove permanent marker. Then I also have a lot of just cleaning wipes. So these are good to, again, just kind of clean the surface of games and also consoles as well. Then I also have just a cloth for dusting, which is always helpful, especially with very dusty screens. And then I have something else for dusting as well, which I'll show you in a little bit. Then if you also have any stickers that you'd like removed, I have a sticker residue remover. And I also have an air duster as well if any of your games need to be heavily dusted. So why don't we get started? So you have a few Game Boys. So let's start with those. And right off the bat, I can definitely see... The screen is dirty, so I'll clean that. Let's see, let's take out the game, which I'll also clean as well. Do you know if there's any battery erosion? Okay, let's see. Actually, you do see a few spots with maybe some old erosion. Have you had batteries in here recently? It's been a while, okay. So I'll clean that out for you. But let me just start by kind of dusting this off. And usually this gets the screen pretty clean too. But we have the wet wipes if there's anything it's a little bit harder to get off. Okay. See the buttons here. Sometimes I just like to get a con swap as well. It helps get in the hard to reach areas around the buttons. It helps get in the corners here too, which often get pretty dusty right off. And was this your Game Boy from when you were a child? Very nice. Yeah, I still keep mine in pretty good condition. Okay, that looks pretty clean inside. And then I'm just gonna clean right here. I'm gonna see if the and just comes right out. And if not, can you 
a little bit of water on here. Always remember not to keep batteries in a Game Boy if you're not using it. Because I've had a few times where a customer will open up their Game Boy and see that the batteries really eroded, which is obviously not good. This looks great. Just gonna pop that right back on. Let's check the game. And this looks like it's in really good condition. I'm gonna get a little bit of rubbing alcohol here. But I don't think we'll need clean that much. And does this game work? Okay. Alright. So that looks good. I'll just place it right back in here. And if you want to just test it and make sure everything's working properly, you can go right ahead. So let's look at the Game Boy SP. Just a little bit... Dirty. Actually, I might get a wipe for this one. So let's see. Just gonna gently wipe the back. Yeah, you can see some dirt here. Actually, dust too. Do you keep these displayed on a shelf? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they easily collect dust, so it's not your fault. Actually, my favorite Game Boy. Well, I did like the Game Boy Color, of course, when it first came out, but then I, of course, love this one because of the backlit screen, which at the time I thought was amazing. So, let's see. Looks much better. So, I'm just going to set it here to. And I think I'm going to just stick with cleaning the consoles first, and then move on to the games. Alright, so we have a PS1, and I can see right away that it is very dusty. I'm just going to dust it. And I forgot to mention, if you ever have any issues with Game Boys... I can replace buttons and screens if needed, so you can always bring them in. And I also forgot to mention that when you are cleaning the contacts in a game, which is what you saw on the inside of the Pokemon Red game, you just want to get the con swab a little bit wet, but nothing too crazy. You don't want to soak it or it could damage it. I'm just going to use this wipe again for the top because I see some dirt again. Let's see. Memory card slots. A little bit dirty, so I wipe those. And of course, your controller slots look good. I'm just gonna open it. Oh boy. So I do see it is pretty dusty. So I'm just gonna gently dust in here. Just to get it all out. I'm just gonna do it over here. Away from this clean space. better. Alright, so this looks good. So next we have a Super Nintendo. This looks like it's in a really nice condition. 
just a little dusty and again you said no issues okay good I'm just gonna do my usual dusting then Sometimes even just dusting it, it makes it look brand new. I'm just going to keep using the same wipe until it gets pretty dirty. And a lot of these will come in with that yellow stain. I actually have one like that from childhood, but this one... Doesn't look like it was affected by that. This little Nintendo logo up here is a little bit dirty. So I'm just gonna wipe it a little bit. Looks good. And then it doesn't look like there's any dust on the inside where the game goes, so this looks good. I'm just gonna set this back over here. Actually, I forgot to check the back. A little bit dusty right here. So this one is good, and this is extremely dirty. So this is obviously black. It's definitely something I have to constantly keep up with. And do you have the other piece to the Wii U or just this? Just this today? Okay. So then again, I'm going to start with getting off all of the dust. This is... A lot of heavy dust. Just gonna wipe it all away. Did you play the Wii U a lot? Yeah, I didn't as much when it first came out. But I do appreciate it more now as a collector myself. So let me start by cleaning the buttons a little bit, just getting out the dust around them. And also around here. And around the D pad. And then here. All right, now something I wanted to show you. So I use this for screens that are really, really bad. And it's safe to use, and it's basically just a screen shine liquid, and then it comes with a cloth, so let me just spray some like that. And then I'm gonna just clean this. I 
windy. I can tell already. It's nice and shiny. It looks brand new. So, we do sell this in store if you're ever interested in purchasing. So, just wanted to show you that. Alright, so this is good to go. Let's get some of your games cleaned. So, I think first I'll clean your Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games, and then we'll do all the discs. Okay. So, I'll start with these. So, I don't see any dust. So, I'm just going to gently wipe here and here. And I'm going to be careful not to obviously wipe the label. It looks very nice and clean. And this is a great game, by the way. Alright, so cleaning the contacts, which is just basically right in there. So you can use a hair duster, like I mentioned. Or if you really want to clean, you can use some rubbing alcohol, like I mentioned, with a cotton swab. So you're just going to get the cotton swab right inside. And a lot of people will clean this way. But if you actually clean this way instead, I think it gets it a little bit cleaner. So that's what I'm going to do. Yep, and I see dust came right out. So then I'm just going to let this one sit and dry. Now let's look at Ocarina of Time. Again, not too dirty. And is this yours from childhood? Yeah, I see the label is really nice. You must have taken good care of it. I'm just going to clean it here a little bit. This one looks pretty clean. Perfect. Alright, Super Mario World. Again, just some dust, which we will get rid of. And I don't think you have any permanent marker on any of these, right? Good. Yeah, they look really nice. Super Mario RPG, Legend, Seven Stars. And are you excited for this to be coming to Switch? Yes, it is coming very, very soon. I think Nintendo finally listened to the fans. Give us something to be excited about. Okay, and then one more. Kirby Superstar. It's always a fan of Kirby games. This looks like it's in nice condition as well. Sign here. Not too much dirt coming out, so honestly, they weren't too dirty to begin with. So now on to discs. So for really bad scratches, I would recommend we use our disc cleaner machine, which is an option. Do any of these have bad scratches? 
Okay, well, I'll just double check and make sure. But let me show you basically what you're going to do. So you want to wipe from the center outward. All right. And you only want to use water. So don't use anything else. I know a lot of people use other things that they say gets it clean, but I would recommend water or the professional disc cleaner in my opinion. But let's see, this does not have any bad scratches. Just like that. I would recommend you always leave the discs in their cases so they don't get scratched. And I know that's sometimes challenging, but I like to say just do your best. And this is a great game. Zelda the Wind Waker for Wii U. So let's take a look. And I don't know if you're ever interested in trading games in, but if you ever get tired of any of these, we will give you cash for any trade-ins. And we do give a lot more money than our competitors, so you can give us a call if you're interested. The Yoshi's. Holy world. There's so many games like this now. I find that I always start the Yoshi games like this and then I never finish them. So no scratches on this one either. Okay, looks good. Then one more. Super Mario 3D World. Let's see. Okay, this one. It's a little bit more dusty. So again, it's gonna be wiped like this. There is a little scratch right there, so if you were to see that the game's not working or it skips or something like that, again, you can just bring it in and we can professionally clean it. But that looks good. And then, I don't know if you have any other games like this at home. But if you were to ever encounter any with disc rot, unfortunately there's not much you can do about it. I see a lot of games come in that are like that nowadays. Basically it's just the CD breaking down and it's kind of like a chemical deterioration, which is pretty unfortunate, but that is what's happening. And is there anything else I can help you with? Well, I wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be charging you today just because you are a great customer of ours. So, I hope you will come back again and give us your continued support and business. So, thanks so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you soon.